this kind of feeling, this kind of game, like this is, this is, yeah, this is right up my alley right now. I think I'm digging this. I, in fact, I, you know, this, this should be on the PlayStation Vita. It really should. This, this game, and more games like these, more games or any games. Right there, right now, PlayStation Vita is kind of in a slump. I mean, there's really not much going on, and uh, to be honest, I'm a bit bored of uh, PlayStation Vita, really. And it seems the audience uh, of my channel is too, for the most part, because I'm not getting a lot of views for PlayStation Vita videos. Touching down. Well, flying on the dragon, you'll see some floating dungeon icons to show places where you can land. As you approach a dungeon icon, the corresponding place name will be displayed at the top of the screen. A touchdown button will be displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. Tap the touchdown button to land at that location. If you tap the shortcut button displayed at the bottom right of the screen, a world map will pop up showing your current location and the list of places you've already visited on the right. Tap a place in the list to return to that location in the blink of an eye. Oh wow, it's, it's like it's even simplified. I didn't even realize that. I don't see that though. I guess you, you need to discover more places, maybe perhaps. Anyway, let's move a little bit forward. And uh, yep, there we go. Touchdown. El Rey Heights. Cool. So a little bit of uh, terrain exploration. Oh, look at that transition. Nostalgic. Let's do some fighting. Slide that chain. Slide it. Slide it. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're in the yellow. Now, I know some of you guys are like, well, what happens when it gets to the red? I want to see what happens when it gets to the red. All right. Fine. Red. Dragon's gone berserk. No! And... It's GG. <laughs> you know how many times that happened to me before I understood the controls of this game? Countless. Countless times. But you know what? Don't feel bad. If you, if you accidentally get into the red, it's really easy to retry. Alright, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, oh, and hopefully I don't accidentally repeat that and look like a fool, let's keep it in the yellow. Powerful attacks, there we go. One more. Boom! Level up, baby! Woo! Level two. Sweet. Sweet! Alright, here we go. Cruising around on my dragon. This, this definitely beats running around on foot. Let's see, it's going to the free area. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, some of you like uh, pro RPGers, like old school gamers, or maybe even people that never even played RPGs before. Some of you might be thinking, this is a little bit kind of meh. 
as far as like uh, abilities and, and controls and depth and stuff like that. Keep in mind, guys, this is just the beginning, and as you can see, they're really trying to like slowly warm you up to uh, to the game and the controls and things like that. Um, I can I still consider this part of the game the tutorial, basically, where you know you're still getting introduced to the game and uh, and what it's about and stuff like that. But there is some more depth that will be uh, explained and uh, introduced later, I assure you. And I think that I need to go back actually because if I remember correctly, when I was here last time, I... ah boy. Battle time. I think there's a, a, a chest, a treasure chest back in the uh, that other turn that I passed up. Alright, level three. Yeah, so these are just like, these are just easy enemies to stomp for uh, experience and getting used to the game and, well, getting experience in the game as well. Ah, see? I knew it. I was right. There's a chest over there. So I got a question for you people watching this video. How many of you have actually uh, played uh, other iPhone games? iPhone RPGs and stuff like that. Uh, I played Chaos Rings, the first one, and that was pretty good. I thought it was pretty, pretty interesting. But this has some interesting uh, things as well. Things that I've never like seen in an RPG before. Like, first of all, I mean, like starting off with a a, a dragon that's basically a mountain. You control the dragon and stuff like that. Like I've never, I don't think I've played a game like this that's like this. In I like, I can't even remember like if I've, I've ever played a game like this before. I mean, you're. Usual RPGs, you start off with your character, right? And your characters run around with a sword, and then that character meets other characters, and then you start moving as a party and stuff like that. The, you get a dragon in this game, <laughs> and you're moving chains around and stuff like that to control your abilities. Like, I think it's, it's got some pretty interesting and unique qualities about this game. And yeah, we really don't need a tutorial on treasure chests, so I'm just gonna burn through that. 30 CP. Sweet. Alright, let's go back. Get back on the trail. I think what I might do, uh, barring that I'm not talking my head off through uh, throughout the, the videos of this game, is uh, I might skip some of these maybe excessive uh, random battles in these videos just to kind of cut to the chase and stuff like that cuz I mean you guys know how it is with these types of games there's usually a lot of fights and uh, and even some some grinding in some cases so uh, I'll be sure not to uh, not to bore you with too many random battles that uh, are kind of face roll like they are now I try to keep a balance of like a story and uh, action and stuff like that The voiceovers are a really nice touch to uh, to this game as well. Like reading is okay and stuff like that, and you know I'm all for uh, reading, but but having actual character voices is really nice. And um, yeah, like it's uh, it's really great for uh, an iPhone, iPad, uh, smartphone, whatever you want to say type of game as well you know it, it, it gives it more of a of an authentic kind of uh, console feel you know what I'm saying like some that's something that a lot of games seem to lack on uh, on smartphones that's one of my big complaints actually about uh, Rage of Bahamut there's no damn sound like it's the only game that I know that doesn't have sound it's, it's the weirdest thing and I've, play, I've tried out a lot of other 
uh, card games that are sort of exclusive to Japan and similar to uh, Rage of Bahamut. And they have sound, like, huh? You'll notice the different colored regions of the control gauge flushing from time to time. Ah, okay, so this is when they start talking about chains. Right, chain, the other chain. Well, let me just read it to you. Flashing from time to time. Try sliding the chain so the gauge needle is over a flashing region. Okay. If you attack enemies while the control gauge is in a flashing region, they'll scatter crystals all over. That's called an invocation. If you pull off an invocation successfully, you can bag more crystals than normal. Aim for invocations as often as you can, you won't regret it. See, there's uh, there's something I was talking to you guys about, a little bit more complexity to the game. It's not just slide to the left for healing, slide to the right for attacking. No, I mean, you can actually get more out of the game by, you know, staying more kind of immersed in it, in the, in the controls with the uh, crystal grabbing invocations like this. Invocation chains. Pulling off a series of invocations in a row is known as forming an invocation chain. The length of the chain acts as a multiplier that boosts your reward. You can get loads of crystals this way. Huh? Invoke. There we go. Nice. 12 crystals. Sweet. Come on, keep going. Violator. What is a violator? Aha! Weapon levels. A Dragalier's choice of weapon is very important as it influences control over the dragon. Each weapon has an associated control level that's displayed alongside it. The control level varies considerably between weapons, so equip yourself with one that suits you best. There we go, we got a Violator. New sword, as I thought. Hang on, I gotta plug the iPad in. Got it on maximum brightness, so like the battery is draining rather quickly. Well, I mean, it wasn't all that charged to begin with before I started recording either. There we go. All right, sweet. Let's go back. Let's see. I think I think I'm going this way. If I remember correctly. I didn't get very far in this game when I first played it. Um I just remembered really completing this first area here. One more hit should do it. Yeah, these, these battles are a piece of cake right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to toughen up in the near future. And I'm looking forward to it. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing, like, more of the, uh, the things that this game has to offer. Like, in terms of story and, uh, abilities and stuff like that, because so far it's been really, really cool. Riding a dragon, flying a dragon, the ability system, the, the chain controls and stuff like that. Pretty cool so far. Pretty cool. Finish it. Bug shell. 